Back pressure. Back pressure on for two seconds, please. Three, two, one. Hello, my name is Brad Arnold. I'm the president of Bradley Mechanical Services. Bradley Mechanical Services was a piping replacement company where we would go into high-rise buildings and condominiums and rip out the walls and ceilings and replace worn out, eroded, corroded and leaking piping networks. Uh, piping systems were burning out in high-rise buildings in as few as five years, seven years. Since 2001, we've been developing the pipe shield epoxy lining process. We have the most advanced engineering process in the world today with over seven million dollars invested in the technology. The pipe shield process is a method of applying an epoxy coating to the inside wall of worn, eroded, corroded and leaking piping networks. Our epoxy is manufactured in Canada. Our technology is uh, a Canadian technology. Our epoxy is the most advanced epoxy in the world today. It is uh, certified to the NSF 61 standard. Uh, it's safe for use on potable water or drinking water systems. It is BPA free. Uh, Health Canada has uh, labeled uh, BPAs as a, as a toxin and, and banned it in, uh, in Canada. Our epoxy coating will seal pinhole leaks and provide a long lasting, durable uh, coating to the inside wall of the pipe that will extend the life of the pipe to 100 years or longer. Where can pipe shield be used? Pipe shield can be used to coat any type of piping network, be it copper, steel, aluminum, plastic, cast iron, also tanks, cisterns, uh, hot water storage tanks. Not only is pipe shield a certified green technology, but by applying a barrier coating to the inside of piping networks, the lead and heavy metal content is greatly reduced. Initially, the savings to be had over uh, pipe replacement are 10 to 15 percent. Once you factor in the savings from not having to repair walls and ceilings, drywall, wallpaper, painting, cabinetry, the cost is considerably higher. In some cases it's uh, a, a 50 percent or less than the cost of a traditional replacement project. Pipe Shield has quality assurance and quality control processes that are second to none. Once we've uh, epoxy coated your piping network, we use medical grade video probe camera systems to inspect every inch of piping that we line. At the end of the project, we provide you with a DVD of your lined piping network. We're currently waiting for the uh, line to heat up so that we get a temperature of uh, at least uh, 95 degrees which helps us apply our epoxy. At that point, we will start to uh, shoot our epoxy into the risers. And this shot required 132 milliliters of epoxy. Can I help you? Oh, the way she goes. No, I'm on the jump stick. Probably, what's up? Hey Mike, we're at seven right now. We're almost there with the shot. Shot the beer. Thank you, sir. Now they're in the lining process right now. So the lining process is being simple. The guy just went in with the shot to put the epoxy in. Uh, we right now have the pipes at a temperature that is what we shoot our epoxy at. So he will hook up to the adapter with the shot tube and we will fire the epoxy in using the air pressure hoses that you see those running up and down the stairwells and we'll be shooting at about 100 PSI. Depending on the temperature, we'll determine how long we're actually gonna shoot the shot for. Are you ready for the clearing shot? 10 four, go ahead. After the shot is actually fired, it will come out of the unit and go up to the next floor to get ready in sense to set up for drawing that shot to that point so we know that we've coded that section going from point A to point B or floor to floor, if you will. Next shot is three quarters, eight feet. Oh, 
copy that.